a turf war, it seemed, on in one of our micro groups this week, um, asking about people starting another uh, monthly newscast. I wasn't. Um, That's cool. That's great. Well, I, I, of course, I applaud it. Like, I think I, as much news that we can put out into the world is great. You know, I, I'm all for it. I mean, I can only talk so much, obviously, because my voice is like still not back yet. So, but you but, will be able to talk weekly once we get the radio station up. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> yes, working on it. Uh huh. <laughs> So, um, well, tell me, uh, Emmanuel, like more about your spectacular micronation. Like, do you, uh, do you have feedback from like, well, we'll talk about the, the microcon over the summer, but you have a founding day anniversary coming up, correct? That's correct. On uh, February the 11th, 2011 is when... I took the kingdom of Amazonia public, so to speak. Um, it became a solid foundational sphere. It actually began as the Principality of Brandenburg in, in January 2011. But I'd done work on it, and I guess you could say upgraded it to a full-fledged kingdom as opposed to a principality well, that's nice i mean i i applaud both they're both kind of um mar mar well obviously a kingdom is is a monarchy and the Ruritanian, like woot, woot. but uh yeah I, I like the upgrade although principality of eggmore is always one of my favorite principalities you know but uh now do you uh what what prompted you to start uh to to start being public and, and what kind of like feeling or feelers or responses did you get from people when you started uh making an announcement of of who you are now well you know i um over the years as we grow we're often told don't let nobody hold you back right uh, ignore the haters and i experienced that first when i still decided to go into acting um, there was a lot of pushback on oh you can't do this but a few people i knew said you know what if that's what you want to do if that's how you really feel if that's in your heart you go step out and do it and don't let nobody hinder you um, and that is also comes to my religious background of belief that um, don't let no man hinder you from doing good or when they, they mean anybody, but when they say man. So I took that a step further and I said, you know, I can do some good to people. Um, so I'm going to step out on faith and do it. And whoever doesn't like him, doesn't like the idea, that's all right with me too, because you don't want to surround yourself with people who don't think like you do on certain issues. So I determined to surround myself with like-minded people in this effort. And I decided I was going to continue to march. And that also comes from my military background. That was our motto, continue to march. And that's what I do. And so you, uh, I, I personally, pretty much everybody I get introduced to or introduce myself to, um, me be being a Grand Duchess of Virginia, like it's one of the first things that I announce. Um, is, are you the same way? Like when you're out in the in the field with the with the common public, I always in my mind carry myself as a royal. Yeah, um, a I I noticed. I found mm. it uh, very like oh, hashtag me too. Like you, <laughs> you have that uh, that that big persona of yes, I am above all of this. <laughs> and yeah. I dug it. <laughs> yeah. Now, some people do not know in whose company they are walking, and I don't flaunt it. But people do say, "Oh, he's different. He's not like what they would consider consider um, the average person." Uh, 
but I don't flaunt it. And I listen intently to people talk uh, when they are talking about the state of whichever state they're in, the state of mind of the government, the state of mind of whatever subject they're talking about. So I can listen to people talk and determine whether they're going to be open-minded in a discussion about uh, micronationalism and whether they're a kind of person who will listen to it and think, oh, that's a decent idea, or tell me more. Or if they're going to be a person who says, ah, I don't want to hear that crap, or whatever right. the case is. So I, I govern what I say on, on, the, on the ricochet of what people are saying about various topics. So, uh, you know, I don't know enough about, like, uh, the royal family, like, for uh, their chance at the at power. Okay, could you repeat that, please? Yeah, you kind of broke up. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, my question was about the royal family, because I... Mm -hmm. Okay, she broke up again. She, she's breaking up. She, she's kind of frozen there. While we're no. waiting for her. Oh, you're, are you back? Am I back? Welcome back to the planet. Yes. Um, everybody can send their cards and letters to my house guests for <laughs> stealing my bandwidth. But regardless, <laughs> um, I, and I'll, I'll give you their addresses later. But um, I was asking about the royal family. Oh, uh, of Amazonia, like mm -hmm. uh, who's who's the heir apparent? Who, who's who's yeah. next in line? Currently, the person next in line is His Royal Highness Prince Gabriel Emmanuel. Okay. Um, and the, within the the sphere of Amazonia, the current monarch, which is myself in this case, will make a royal decree of who is going to be who will be the heir apparent is. and that comes out in a in a uh, an official document uh, now it's it's believed we, we usually take the practice of many other um, royal families and dynasties that the firstborn son will be the next monarch or sovereign in this case it worked out just fine because he was the firstborn child and the firstborn son so it's almost a no-brainer in this case. However, if he had been the second born, uh, we have instituted the, the policy that the first born child is. Yeah, that's so, what Ruritania uh, follows yeah. the practice of. I mean, well, Queen Anastasia has only had uh, the two daughters. Uh, myself and, and Her Royal Highness Juliana. Um, but my daughter's already begun plotting the deaths of everyone else in the royal family. Okay. So <laughs> she well, wants the throne. <laughs> my daughter, Isabella, is second in line. Uh, royal Highness, the Princess Royal, um, Princess Isabella, she's the second in line after Prince Gabriel. And of course, um, Queen Sakan is the consort. Okay. So let's um, talk about how Amazonia contributes with uh, their their projects um, spreading humanity and goodwill throughout the world, right? Um, yes. And, and within the microsphere, of course. But uh, what? how do you, you do a lot of recognition of people doing hero, hero, heroism and uh, amazing acts of kindness. And during your presentation at MicroCon, I was just blown away. Like, how are you finding out about all of these, these amazing stories, people jumping in front of bullets and stuff? <laughs> like, well, one of the things that I do, uh, we do, we read a lot of, I read a lot of international newspapers watch international accounts of things that happen in the world um, whether they're within a micro national sphere or the macro sphere right. and um, I, I once again I, I watch the internet news quite a bit 
and different um, channels and internet news where, as you may have read, um, I read where a guy was walking, you know, walking along the street with his dog and he heard his yelping and he turned around where he's walking and someone had tried to bury another dog. Uh, I guess it was a pit bull or some kind of a dog buried him alive. And the, this person went out of his way to to dig this dog who was actually chained to a cement um, foundation and, and dirt was poured over him. So this person actually saved him, saved the dog from that peril. And I thought that was extremely um, selfless. That was, that's the kind of people I like to call out. Otherwise, it might have gotten just a newspaper blip, which I think it did, and it would have been over like that. There are issues where um, a police officer in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was walking home from work, and the, unfortunately, two robbers robbed him and, um, you know, and, and, and shot him. Uh, I sent a letter of condolence to his family through the church where he was, where their funeral services were taking place, even though they know nothing about us as, uh, as Amethonia. Uh, so I scoured the newspapers, I scoured um, international correspondence, listened to the radio, and try my best to find the people, whether they be near or far, to um, shine the light on them. I, I, I think that that's amazing because, you know, it, it, you're absolutely right. These are, are small blips on on just a, a little like area and then they're gone. But, you know, to the families of the, of the, the victims or the heroes, like these are, are you, like strong messages that they're they're presenting out to the history and they need to be recognized and remembered and i i do remember uh hearing that you got a recognition or a letter from like obama was that correct yes yes um when president obama was in office i actually had myself and my son write him a letter because you know we all need to be encouraged and as you know being a president is probably one of the most difficult jobs there, that there are. So I sent him a letter and I let him know that I, for one, thought he was doing a good job in these tumultuous times that we're presently um, having. And he, I believe it was either him or his secretary, wrote back. Um, I, too bad it's on the wall, I can't jump up and take it down. <laughs> but uh, I, yes, we did get a letter response from the President of the United States during that time. And also, uh, on the um, Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II, yes. I sent her a letter also. And one of my titles is, um, I have two titles from different um, religious slash royal organizations. One is called Knight Commander of the Order of St. John, uh, St. Peter and Paul, actually. And the second is Commander of the uh, sovereign order of Hutt River province. Right. And so I, I use those titles when I sent the letter to the uh, Queen of England, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, and her or her ladies in waiting actually sent me a response, which is also hanging up on the wall. Well, I mean, hey, Hutt River. Uh, uh, Morty? Yes. Um, yes. May I call you Morty? Is... <laughs> yes, you uh, may call me Morty. <laughs> thank you. We have a couple questions from our our chat thing do you want me to read these questions sure okay so we got a question from michael Le lakeith perry that's pac-man perry yes. pac-man yeah hello pac-man he says has he incorporated <laughs> military traditions that he uh, appreciated in his kingdom Yes, um, there are just a few at the moment. I, I constantly have to review and try to remember all my military, um, you know, background. Uh, I, for one thing, I teach my uh, prince and princess um, discipline, uh, not not your ordinary, you know, mommy, daddy, child discipline. 
I take it a step further with the military discipline, uh, which is very important for youth to learn, especially, I also, let me say, I also incorporate, incorporate some of the royal traditions that are found through your traditional uh, royal families. Um, things as simple as how to sit, how to answer, how to speak. Uh, we don't use slang. Uh, as you typically see in the, the streets. Uh, we yeah. address each other in certain cases as sir and man. Things, you know, things like that. Um, I, but it is, it is a routine of discipline that I do use. And it goes, and it goes over very well. Because eventually... Okay. I have another question here. Uh, you were saying... Grant Yes, I got another question here from, this is from okay. Duke Mac okay. McClendon. What branch of the armed forces were you in? I'm former Army myself. That's Duke speaking. I'm, I'm a former, former Army person. I was okay. a U.S. military Army soldier. So there you go, Duke. Sorry. Back to the story. <laughs> well, uh, Ruritania, like, strongly believes in etiquette and manners and how to, the proper way to treat people so that you receive the respect that you deserve. Yes. And you, and you give exactly what you get. Um, so I, I think that that's great. And I try to, try to treat that to my minions as well. Um, and uh, we're, we were a big Air Force family too. Um, now, you have a project, and I'm assuming that it's still running, uh, Project Cam Cambodian Hope, where you were uh, uh, bringing provisions to children. Uh, yes. Yes. Now, is that are, are you still running that and 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 helping aid those children? Yes, um, Project Cambodian Hope I started pretty close to 10 years ago, I suppose. Um, and once the kingdom became what it is, uh, we, we um, have some contacts in Cambodia uh, that, um, by the way, the queen is Cambodian also. Uh, oh, so, nice. <laughs> so, uh, so it is, it, it's very close to home for her, I'm assuming. Yes, and uh, so since we... Uh, I have some contacts in Cambodia. Every so often, uh, we will send the children some basic necessities, things that we really take for granted. Shoes, socks, underclothing, uh, toiletries, uh, pencils, pens, things for their school. Because, you know, as the area that we're dealing with is not nearly as, ma as modern as some other places. So, so we yeah, we send them that um, on a um, I guess you could say semi regular basis, uh, whether it's from uh, donations or whether it's from my personal paycheck, or, you know, my personal funds. We, we still do that. And well, we really well, this is a, a a nice platform. I think uh, our our micronational uh, uh, podcast here is that. If there are people that want to try and help aid, they can find out more about uh, the your project for Cambodian Hope on your page, uh, the website. Um, I'm sure that my lackey is going to put it on the screen at any moment and okay. go to the, the link yeah. that says, we won't see it, but that's okay. Yeah, um, yeah, it's we, up. The official website of the Kingdom of... Am Amethonia. Amethonia, and I'm also, Amethonia. I will include the link in the chat here. And if you if you like mouse over on the left side of the screen, there should be a link that says what the heck project project Cambodian hope. Oh no! Oh no! Um, like throughout throughout our people. There you go. So everybody, I just want to, I just started recording, so I want to repeat this for the recording that'll be on YouTube. So you go to the Kingdom of Amazonia website. I'll put the link 
If you're watching on YouTube, the link will be in the uh, description. If you're listening on iStake.tv, the link will be in the very place where you're listening. And on Facebook, I'll drop the link in the, uh, the chat there. But you go to Special Projects. I'm highlighting it there so you can see where it is. And you click on Special Projects and then Project Cambodia Hope comes up. And then there is a place for you to hit the Donate button. I'll highlight that area right there. You see that right there. That's where you go to. There you go. Okay. So, uh, now, uh, are there any recent acts? Uh, about, I guess we, we already talked about that with the, with the dog that was rescued. Yeah, that, was, that, um, that, that was a little some time ago. Uh, once again, I always scan the uh, newses. The news media, <laughs> uh, the various news organizations, for um, for worthy people to call out. And unfortunately, and people, there there's there a are lot people of that more, nominate, right? Yes, you can also nominate someone. Also on the website, there's a under contact. When you when you two things when you go to the, I think it's the royal orders and things like that. Yeah. Um, when you click on there, there's a list of um, medals and orders. And then I think there's a section that you can actually nominate someone. And the idea is, is not to nominate yourself, to nominate somebody else. Right. And there's a little write-up on how, the, how to go about that. And you can also do that doing, by just clicking on the contact me or contact us link. And then um, you can say, say this or say that. Okay. So, so, you know, so if you know anybody. Well, uh, well, let's talk a little bit about MicroCon, where we met, right, uh, just um, yes. six months ago. And what were your, what were your feelings of, of the conference? Like, I uh, was, I was absolutely excited and thrilled. I loved it. Um, and that also going to answer another one of your questions. <laughs> I wasn't sure about how many other like-minded people were out there in the world. Um, I believe I found out about this right before the 2015 microcon, which of course I didn't. I get I didn't get to make that one. But then I, I started didn't looking. either. Don't feel bad. <laughs> okay. And I so I was um, so I was absolutely just so so happy and speechless that. I said, you know, I do do like uh, President Bao said. I didn't know all these people were out there, and then I, every time you turn around, now you have somebody who has their own. So I was I was very happy. I said, finally, I can get to be around people who are who think like I do or think like we do, and not feel looked down upon or frowned upon. Right. And that goes to boost your your um, not just your personal strength, but it also goes to boost your determination. Right. Yeah, you're not alone. Like in our in our uh, way of life, and uh, it, it's comforting, you know. I, I, yes. I, I also thoroughly enjoyed finally being able to to put like what you you personified someone's uh, profile into the actual person. I thought that that was um, it was quite eye opening personally um but you like to, the face to a name <laughs> but i i think you have to um to be more than just about words if it's in your heart and it should be in your heart you should be able to bring it forth now knowing that not everyone's going to see it the way you do but that's only secondary this is me okay? right this is me how i truly am the other me so to speak is being what the world wants to see nine to five right so that's a nine to fiver what i am now is who i truly am yeah i uh i tend to get into some altercations at my nine to five because people don't realize that you know we we have bills that have to get paid like my my lackey yes. over there doesn't pay me for this 
<laughs> like I You don't pay me. You don't give me an intern. Like I'm, I'm worthless. A, I'm worthless. Thank you. This is neither here nor there. Actually, when she calls me worthless, that's a step up. So thank you. That makes I will I, sleep better tonight. I'll feel wanted and loved now. Because I, that's a I step up. I didn't call you worthless. <laughs> but um what I'm saying is like we, we have to pay these bills. Like, we have jobs. And in mine, uh, you know, my my boss tends to kind of pick on me for being, you know, a personality within our community. So I, I have to kind of quiet quiet to my proclamations of, of, oh, I get to do my show this month. I'm so excited. Um, and it, it sucks. It sucks. So, like, being around all the, the people – like us, it's just it was heartwarming. And I do have, speaking... a, I, I do have another question if, uh, 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 from Michael from is it Pac-Man? from Pac Man? Yeah, Pac-Man. Pac-Man. it's an interesting one. Uh, I'm, I'll be I'll be interested to hear how both of you answer this. One okay. thing I'm this is him. One thing I'm very <laughs> curious about as a micro nation, you will either like or dislike having this officially in your nation. How do you feel about say games? or competition events for your micronation? Um, I can attest, and as well, I can Emmanuel, that we had uh, Olympics at the Microcon. Um, there will be micro uh, micro national Olympics at the well, one in Toronto. Um, for Virginia, our national pastime is croquet. Uh, we also enjoy medieval fighting as well as the MOCC. Um, I I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, are you are you into game? I think I know Pac-Man, and he's probably talking more about gaming. I think I'm the only one who can talk about gaming. Like, he just said games like or games. competition events, but I'm down with the whole uh, medieval fighting thing. Let's oh yeah, let's just, do that. Let's do that. Morning stars. Right? I'm totally into that. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, do do y'all have a national sport for Amazonia? Uh, no, not yet. Um, I'm looking at more of um, semi what they call martial semi combat. Um, for a for a country that wants to spread humanity and goodwill through charitable work. You want to have martial combat? <laughs> well, it's more like it's more like a training because I I have experience in various martial arts, and I believe that everyone has a right to defend themselves. Well, so I wouldn't really call it a competition. Um, a showcase. Uh, not more, uh, rather rather continuous training, uh, where you come together and. Um, um, you know, train together as a uh, as a brother or sister of the kingdom, not as a competitor to see if you can pummel somebody. Damn so yeah. we're still in the stage of developing that type of thing. I'm I, all excited I read... about the pummeling. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I see, no bloodshed. I see you smiling. No. <laughs> I mean, they can't. Only you like, can. Well, I, I, I stream croquet. Where I mean, there there can be blood on that on that grassy lawn, but, um, <laughs> there are, uh, cooperative board games that don't necessarily, you know, where people have to work as a team. And that's what I would kind of recommend. You might want to look at, but, um, yeah. So to, to, I, you think that we answered his question? Yeah. And he said that, uh, he, he just meant games in general. Games are open to interpretation. Oh, sure. Okay. Cause he not, knows, not he gaming, knows me. just general games. Just Overwatch, like, like IRL. Like Overwatch. my micronation. I have a micronation, by the way. It's I State, which is just state of one. Everybody's an I State, by the way. So everybody's a micronation, whether they know it or not. But in the I State of Paul, our national not sport woke. is bacon baking. That's the national sport. Bacon baking. Isn't, isn't Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Paul the uh, the bacon? Connoisseur. Chef. Oh yeah, she 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 bakes it and I eat it, and it's a quite a sport. It's quite a sport. She's like, "How many are you going to eat this weekend, Paul?" You know, 
Like, how much is he going to get to this week? 10, 12, 15, 20? Packages? Slices. slices, slices. I'm not, I'm not all that. I'm not a pro. I'm like, you know, amateur. I, I admit it, but I'm like high quality amateur. Bacon, bacon okay. eater. I'm I'm pro pro bacon, yes. but regard, re, regardless, regardless. <laughs> um, now you you gifted uh, uh, something to Judy Zuckerman uh, at at the gala, uh, and it was something. Uh, it was a, a a handmade scarf, correct? Like that like, was on your uniform for what she had had helped with you, for you. Over yes. the the, the yes. event, I I was, was uh, no go ahead you you talk. <laughs> I was going to say that I um that's called Amazonian and special friendship sash, um and that's given spontaneously and the reason why I gave it to uh, Miss um, Zuckerman was that when we got to when I got to the um, when I finally got to the hotel. Uh, let me back up with saying, when I got off the plane, I didn't know I was going to have to get on another mode of transportation another 45 minutes away. And so I finally got all that. But in the midst of doing, um, getting those uh, little train things, I left my laptop on one of the um, trains. And then my I Mara? had to transfer to this. Yes, <laughs> that's it. Holy and then, um, and then uh, I had all, yeah, and it's actually the one I'm talking to you from now. So I had to, when I got to the hotel, I realized Crazy that I left it on the train. The flying spaghetti monster. Right. And, and then I had to, your laptop. That you, like, and I wind up having to call around to all of the train stations. And luckily, one, um, one of the people found it and it turned it in. So I had to go way back another probably 10 or 15 miles to go pick it up. So by that time, I was exhausted from traveling. I had no idea how I was going to get to and fro. And, and I actually believe I, you were on the, um, I, on the I, list. Of, I, was, I was trying to get to you, but they kept throwing people into my car. And I had already sold my, I had yes. a mommy mobile. And I yes. felt so terrible because I, I traded it in for a Malibu, which right. is, uh -huh. it's totally rocking. It's but, not a real car. Cake wrote a song about a Malibu. Regardless. I rest my case. I felt so awful because, like, I uh, I was thrown into tour. Not that I feel bad about touring the French. I mean, they love me and the the Quebecois or whatever. Um, but I I was oh my god I, is he is he trapped how do I get him in the car like oh he's got a ride now he, he must hate me but yeah um, <laughs> no it was I nothing like that, that. Okay. it but, was um, a hectic weekend like, that's true and you know and Judy stepped right in and I and I said I, I need a ride to the first event she goes oh, I'm going do you want to go with me I go sure and so from that point on she just offered to take myself and Miles. Another gentleman. Uh, I love there. Miles. She just chauffeured us <laughs> all around for the whole weekend, and it was so spontaneous, and I was so overjoyed and overwhelmed and happy that she just stepped she in wasn't even with one that of us. spirit. She she was a reporter, right, with uh, Atlanta Magazine. Like she wasn't even she's not even in the know. <laughs> right, right. She <laughs> that's correct. And I've come to yeah. find out, she was she's some kind of uh, TV producer. In California, um, so for her to do that, um, I thought that was extremely kind and and spontaneously uh, proactive of her, and so that's why I gave her that uh, as it was a special um, special thanks for her spontaneous kindness. And people like that, or who I like to meet, who just come out of the woodwork and do something randomly kind for someone who they don't even know. Yeah, I. I um oh I'm getting told that I, I'm running out of time and I feel terrible because I wanted to tell a funny story about Miles but I can't so we got 20 um, minutes left oh we have 20 minutes left yep, 20 minutes well do you have big hopes for I have so much news to get to this is terrible but um 
Do you have big hopes for the microcon in 2019? Are you expecting to go? Yes, actually, um, uh, I've been uh, ever since they announced it. I've been checking uh, plane fares, and I'm also trying to prepare to put in a bid to host the one following this on the, uh, 2019. So yes, I'm very excited about going. I'm already making preparations uh, for the 2019 microcon in Toronto. You know, we're we're going to be host, our host hotel is going to be a haunted one. I'm very excited about that. So, sl the Slobovians know it's on my bucket list. So I'm, 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 I'm stoked. But and I, I sent you an agenda of of all the topics we were going to talk about. Now I'm trying to to glean yes. through this list, and um, so I'm sorry. Uh, now that's all right. I, looking at it. <laughs> I do have to say that you and you've mentioned similar parts of like what your message is is similar to like Gandhi who who said um, be the change that you want to see in the world and uh, I mean I, I know that's a yearbook quote that everybody wants to put on those things but I'm just impressed and I I can speak for I think everybody who met you at at the event mm -hmm. that you you do live that value and uh, we we all we all think like I'm just going to say it for everybody. <laughs> but, um, and I'm so sorry because I have so much news that I have to, I, I, we have to cut this short. Although, I do have two more questions. One, okay. how did you choose that raspberry uh, iced tea is like your national beverage? It's like, for Britannia, we can't pick one. <laughs> you just drink like <laughs> loads of it? Do you own stock I, in it? Like. Yeah. I I was such a raspberry iced tea lover that I decided, you know what, this has got to be at least one of the national beverages. It's inexpensive and it's really, really tasty. <laughs> and uh, You're like so, the Wamapa, uh, or is it the Wamapa, the, the, the island in Joe versus the volcano where they like the orange soda and... I'm probably the only person who's ever seen that movie. Anyway, uh, and I love Joe versus the volcano. It was totally panned, and I love it. I know you could do the job, but can you do the job? I know I, you could do the job. I know you can do the job, but can you do the job? Now, most most importantly, I need to know what your stance is on squirrels, those vile <laughs> vermin. Have this, they this been will banned? Decide whether you're back from... on the show again or not, right here. <laughs> well, my where I live, we have squirrels that we actually feed. Um, they don't come up to a window, but they could. Um, I found the squirrels. Listen, this there's, there's two parts. Squirrels, I know, can be a pain in everybody's side. Uh, one of my sisters has a problem with squirrels because they get into her garage and they just chew up everything. Um, so I think that all depends on what your experience is. Uh, I think if the squirrels where I reside could get in, they would, and they would chew up everything. Then it would be a big problem. Well, um, but I, since I, they um, can't, it's a beautiful I answer. To, it's a beautiful answer. I have to cut you off, and it's not personal. <laughs> I literally have a lot of news, and I ask that you continue, you know, with the, the rest of the show, so you can see actual news that came out of Ruritania this past mm -hmm. week. Okay, but, I will. I will be looking. But I, I, I thank you so much for joining us today, and I look forward to talking to you again. And I apologize, especially for the technical failures that we had this evening. I blame the lackey. But <laughs> hey, but I found the squirrel ally, so yes. And I look forward to perhaps seeing you in April at the uh, mini that micro is, summit. That is, yeah. Yes. Yes, that I am definitely looking forward to that. Awesome. Uh, just keep me abreast of all the information so I can uh, because that's only a two hour drive from where I am currently. See, that makes me think that Dominic should just move it to Pennsylvania. So We'll we'll discuss we all we'll have details for everybody later. So okay. we'll talk to you later. Toodles. Okay, thank you.
Bye Thank now. you very much for being on the show. You're quite welcome. Okay. So, Paul, now we're going to get into... Okay, to now the, we're into uh, transition. So I'm waiting for the Skype to show up. But while, uh -huh. while the Skype is getting ready to show up, go ahead and tell me, what's the first news item? So, the first news item is from the missionary of the Celtic Cross, which is commonly referred to as the MOCC. Um, and an upcoming guest... Not sure where which order I'm having her in, uh, Queen Violet Murray, um, and perhaps uh, right, my, one of my dear friends Tom Harris, who submitted this news from Dubas. Um, the MSCC has received a fairly large donation of paperback books um, from a bookstore in Seminole, Oklahoma, and I'm hoping that you have the pictures up. I have posting? the Missionary Order of the Celtic Cross up for MicroWiki. Okay, I sent pictures to you. With, I didn't like, see the pictures. It was in the document. Okay, I didn't see them. All I saw was <laughs> this mentioned, so I got all these sites up. But anyway, go ahead. One job. You had one job. <laughs> Actually, I had about 15 so, for this show alone. <laughs> you ahead. don't know what... What I've had to do, but regardless, uh, the the slide this bookstore was shutting down, and so they made a huge donation to the MOCC, and the first load that they received filled the the back end of a pickup truck, and they're still waiting to be sorted through, but it looks mostly like works of fiction, which I'm going to take a long shot guess here and say that those are wildly. Uh, uh, celebrated in the MSCC because they are uh, such a colorful people. I love it. They're uh, they got a lot of uh, tribe tribalism and Wiccans and great like dancing fests. Like Tom Harris, like post crazy dances all the time. Um, and we're, we're duck face selfies. Where are we going next? Did you show the the big back back end of a pickup truck that's uh, filled with with trash? No. Where are these pictures? I have no pictures. I'm looking in the document. Got no really? pictures here. Wait. I'm gonna let the studio audience see the pictures that I have that I don't have. Ready? There we go. There's your tech. There's your outline. There it is. There's no pictures in here. There's no links to I pictures. Can't... I can't see any of it. I, well, no, I. Oh, I wonder. Nope, nothing. Nothing. I'm telling you. I will be sure to all the people that submitted stories. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that these images are shared with everyone. Where so, are they? Okay. There's no images. I'm looking at them right and, now, man. And, yeah, and now she's breaking now. up. Okay, so what's Jeez, the next story? Crackers. Um, the, the Kingdom of Dubas, uh, there was a demolition work being done across the street from the Royal Residence um, in North Tulsa. Um, the cleanup is being done to the house because they suffered a lot of damage. And roadside cleanup uh, has also begun at Holy Wisdom in Bell Lakes. Um, this, uh, uh, for the year 2018 of Dubas, Dubas's youth, and their people are called Dubastards, which I think is hilarious. Okay. I, but, I can't uh, find here. I'll show their... Oh, never mind. I don't see a uh, a site for them. I can't bring it up. Sorry, folks. Tom, anyway. Tom Harris, I know that you're watching. Just go ahead and start posting stuff in the comments. He'll find it then. So uh, the MOCC calendar, it is the Fast of Ashes. And... Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip over to our lovely pictures. I swear, Tom sent these into me. But the Principality of Egmort, um, which is one of my favorite, favorite micronations, um, they have released their own rosé. Like, their motto and their creed is see life in the rosé. And they have... They have produced their own wine, and they're going to be having 
Uh, it is not yet. Uh, the The plans aren't completely solid, but they are in the works to have a bicycle race uh, throughout the principality where there will be crates of the wine on the back of these bicycles and there will be teams. And if any of the packages are dropped and the, the bottles fall, then... That team will have to stop the race. And uh, it sounds amazing. And I cannot wait for the cam to publish videos of that. So mad props out to Jean Pierre, to Olivier, and to Jeffrey Mathis. And as I continue down my list of things, Slobovia, they just had a meeting. And I had so many pictures that were in the. My they're not there, I'm telling you. I premiere that, anyway, there, there were great pictures where they had ta taken Eric Liss of the Eric and Empire. Uh, it invited him over for a big state dinner, and they put him on the ship because they're a, a naval-esque micronation. They're, the images look like they were on the deck of the Starship Enterprise. Oh, it was I'm I'm at the People's Republic of Slobovia on Flickr. That's all I got. Say, go to the micro mirror and just scroll. Where's the micro mirror? And then go to to the Facebook and type that in. It's the Wayne Corbett's little news news views and issues of the microsphere. But Eric Liss looked like Chekhov. It was great. It's the best. And I I'm so disappointed. I'm wildly disappointed. We were going to talk about this half a line. <laughs> but, um, where, oh, now my, my I'm going to Micro Mirror. Yeah. See if we can find these pictures. For Slobovia. So they will be posted by Rankin. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. It looks like Darth one. Vader is got, in, a, in, a, in a blue room. Is that the one you're looking at? Uh, with George C. Bragg, Eric Liss, that's not it? Or is that it? We're looking at pictures here from Rankin Liss. McGilvery. He, yes. Okay. And er Eric Liss rocks a half cape. No one else does that. Like, epic. Epic. And he looks like Darth Vader in one of those pictures. I'm going like, through the... Oh, oh, there... Oh. Okay, does he have glasses, wired yes. glasses? Yes. And there's like a cape with like a red underneath. It's a half cape. <laughs> yeah, yes. Awesome. He said he said he found it perfect for like talking or snacking. And I was like, it's amazing that you makes even sense. thought that far ahead. Make, right? Makes sense, actually. Um. No, so there, you got to see those. Oh, there's the one where it looks like they're in the starship something or other. I don't know. There's a yes. red lighting or something. I'm just going. To, okay, there you go. I went through them all. There you go. Okay, we saw the pictures. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Bovia should uh, should should appreciate the the efforts. The <laughs> extra work that we went through for you, Slobovius, for you. For you, George. Anyway, um, now a Dan is a uh, micronation that is located uh, within the confines of Georgia. Um, they are very close friends of, of Ruritania. Uh, um, Prince Alexander, and there was a picture that also was included in this, um, <laughs> is now a full knight of St. Maurice and is assuming duties as the head of the Royal Guard. And I had him take a new profile picture just for this so I could put it on display. What what where 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 can I find this picture on like You can't because it was private message to me. Oh and well I, it's, yeah. it's not in the, the I thing, understand man. that. But um a Danian <laughs> citizenship has also reached a hundred people in, in December. And a fun fact about a Dan is that they will speak to with virtually anyone. But does not consider that to be uh, diplomacy. So that's just uh, 
kind of frown on on news that isn't really news. Um, generic doing your jobs kind of news. Um, Dan will also be co-hosting a dance for teens in the Atlanta Metro in March. I better be invited to the dance. And uh, you. Have we lost her? Have we lost her? I don't. uh, Let's see if we get her back here. The dairy. Okay, we missed a little bit there. Yeah. Let's start over with Eupadaria because you were breaking Eupadaria. up. Like Eupadaria. Eupadaria, that's right. Is that right? Is that it right? That is right. That is that is uh, right. So Eupadaria. Uh, I know crown... something about this. Okay, uh, you're breaking I'm up again. Uh, you're. Crown... you're... Okay. Cheese so, and crackers. Tell me tell me when. Okay, go no? now. Sorry. Go I don't now? know why you're breaking up. Go. I, I my house guests are probably eating my bandwidth. So William Collier, a dear and close friend of mine, uh, has published a novel. Um, the Blue Book of Eupadaria, which is a fictional novel uh, comprised of short story histories and a narrative history and a vision. For a new nation. And this available on Amazon. And there will be links. Or you could just you know go to Amazon and search Blue Book of Eupadaria. Um, you can get the ebook version for like $9.99. The paperback version is like 500 pages. And the proceeds for it. And this is the, the important part. Is... Um, it, the purchasing the, the Kindle version, at least, it helps uh, to crowdfund the efforts to create a fraternal uh, Christian society, uh, starting with online learning community that will focus on empowerment missions and missional living and serving, you know, like-minded refugees. And so, yes, I uh, probably will be purchasing my my uh copy soon even though he, he's my identical I, twin so i get it well i just get he's the my, book oh you got the book so i don't I will. have to order i didn't get one yet but i'm gonna get oh. one well yeah i i'm going to get one even though i i you know am You're ordained in the, i'm i'm ordained in the church of the flying spaghetti monster and may his noodly appendage touch you and but i i'm <laughs> I'm actually a cashew. Uh, I have a retaining Orthodox, if you will. Um, now, St. Castin, uh, today, which is January 28th, uh, the regent Louis Felipe, right? I believe it's Felipe, uh, the first of Valenoy celebrates his 95th birthday. So, viva la regent. Viva la region. Region. Yeah, and I couldn't find a site for them to to bring up. I, I only speak German, so. And you're say, you're falabling uh, again. You're in the falabble zone right now. You have entered the falabble zone. So one one thing that has has uh, really angered me about this because you didn't include these pictures, Sean Darkbloom of the band Darkbloom, which is. The official heavy metal industrial band of Kingdom of Ruritania and the first official heavy metal band of any micronation. Um, he was actually uh, receive. He was on the receiving end of a brutal attack and a home invasion shortly after being knighted in the wow. Kingdom of Ruritania. Yes, and in a communication to my close friend. Lady Kayla DeCant, lead singer of the band. She, uh, Sean had stated, oh my God, a flying squirrel somehow ran into my sliding glass door. Lisa somehow shut the door on it and it scared, it, it scared the life out of me. Uh, 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 I'm off armed forces. Squirrels are friendly. I don't get what the issue is here. Yeah, you're you're falabbling. Obviously, right? 
Yeah, you're 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 chewed up cop. really bad. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're... I will have words with my house guests. Um, <laughs> this is not cool because not this is cool, an important man. story. This is a very important story because uh, Sir Darkbloom reached out to me personally, stating I'd been attacked and mauled by by a flying squirrel, which I was attempting to help. And the Polos Pest plotted and planned this perilous assault. S. I, I did an onomatopoeia. But, or no, that's Asmund, right? Where you have the repetition of consonant sounds. I get yes. that. Sure. Sure. Okay. Anyway. Whatever. The grammar Nazis will. I'm not, so, Sharon. Sean, I'm just Sean hoping that you don't full blobble. Sean released a statement today regarding the onslaught, and he included with him a picture of this squirrel because uh, there's Rurouti, no picture. There's I'll no make picture. a big post about it. Don't worry. Okay, Everybody's hold on, hold on. Here, here. I want everybody to see. This is what she sent me. There is no picture in here. Did you there's open no... the new? I oh. can read. By the way, let me read. Uh, Sean released this statement. Do you want me to read the statement in a non kerfuffle yeah, way? Read, yeah, read Ruritania the statement. Ruritania seems to have a squirrel problem. It is no secret that the same day I was to be declared a knight of Ruritania, a flying squirrel, which I didn't even know were in Georgia, flew at full speed into my sliding glass door. It hit the ground. It looked around or, or looked knocked out dead. As I tapped its hand to see if it would move, it took the opportunity to tear my hand up with its teeth. I did not get rabies or typhoid fever, however, so whatever disease the squirrel community infected him with before the attack was not contagious to humans, thankfully. By the way, the squirrel escaped to live another day. I cannot say this enough, and here that it definitely... That starts mine. Rings That's true. mine. Oh, okay. This, this is what I say, and I and I like you were as you were quoting me, like I cannot say this enough, and and like it definitely does ring true. And you've totally stolen all of my thunder in this. But always <laughs> remember, never forget. Don't be a victim. Not even once. Stay vigilant. Death to squirrels. I have said this for months, that they have been weaponizing and militarizing and, boom, kamikaze a new knight in the kingdom of Ruritania. Flying squirrels aren't even in Georgia. Yeah, mic drop. So now, squirrel news. Squirrel news. We, we squirrel have time. news. It's, it's, it, we're, we're over time here, but so no. you have to go really quick with your squirrel news. Real quick. I have a big old squirrel, okay. no squirrel thing over your face right now, by the way. Over my, over that. my face? Yeah, over Fine. your face. So I'm going to shrink it back. No, well, I just, how's this? I how's just this? enlarged it for, for dramatic effect. Three, three of these stories that I was going to share were actually in my presentation at the Microcon, like recent episodes where squirrels have caused blackouts just, in three cities. Three cities. What story are we going to? Well, no, that's a summar summarization of Squirrel all of them. takes out power in downtown Nashville? Next. There you go. Squirrel takes out power in Nashville. Okay, next. Next. Okay. What's Squirrel, next? Squirrel cuts down power in Southington. Squirrel cuts down power in Southington from the Tribune Chronicle. Squirrel takes out power in downtown Nashville. Nashville. Oh. There we Tennessee go. Back to where I was. It's pretty there close to the Ruritanian embassy. Just saying. I I don't know. I think the squirrels are just trying to look out for us and try to help us that, keep the power down. They're at using times. the blockade, is what they're doing. Like, fighting they're for shutting off warming. power. They're fighting for global warming. They're to not stop going it. green. Okay. They're going and then green. the next story. Which is? Man, a man's car breaks after a squirrel fills it with hundreds of acorns. <laughs> there it 
That is a beautiful now, thing. Go ahead. Since I'm uh, not, you know, I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I love this squirrel. I want to meet this girl. I want to party with this squirrel. I want to party with this squirrel in Roritania. Yes. And there I want to YouTube There are no it. squirrels permitted <laughs> on Roritanian soul. I'll do it and also, sleeping. I will tell you right now, there is a bar in Atlanta, of which that I frequent, that the the toast, the official toast of this bar is F squirrels. For reals. For realsies. Okay. We got through <laughs> the show. You want to wrap it up? On well, the yeah. Sober note? I'm done. I've, I've hit all of the points. Are you going to have like some sort of don't you have any kind of slogan whatever thingy want to tell them when well, we're going to be on next or... uh, well one thing i can i can briefly mention uh is that there is a i was interviewed by keith petite for a, a podcast called the expatriate um as well as neil's flangensis from flangensis then um he just interviewed the douchebag from Liberland. So everybody needs to listen to that podcast. You can on more minutes. Uh, but I hear, by the way, that the Liberland guy is uh, anti-squirrel, too. So you got that in common with him. Just compatriots. There is nothing that he and I have in common. <laughs> he is a scumbag. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning. I, I'm going to wake up with a bloody squirrel head in, in my pillow. <laughs> yes. I've said too much. Father style. But I've said too um, much. also, uh, because we were mentioning Dark Bloom earlier, I have already discussed writing the, 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 the song with... Kill it a can't for uh, the, the theme song, and it should be coming soon. I look Very forward soon. to that. It's a, to a that. heavy metal cover parody. Um, uh, I mean, I could, I could, I could tell. It say what song it is, but I'm don't scared. Say, don't say. Don't leave people. Don't do it. I won't. Don't. I won't. I'm gonna leave everyone in suspense. And uh, our my next lineup of yes. I would love recommendations from all of my viewers. Who do you want to see? You know? And she froze. Herself? Again. And <laughs> if, she froze. If, if you want to. You're in the love, 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 love. Why don't I try to wrap them up, wrap it up for you? Because you're entering Flubba Lubba Land again. You're walking into Flubba Lubba Land thanks to your. Your house guest there. So if you yeah. have ideas and recommendations for folks that uh, you'd like to see on the show, uh, message us here at the uh, Facebook page here, Marticia's uh, Micronational Minutes. And uh, I, I, by the way, I can't remember the name of the dude. He was in the last show. Uh, somebody had messaged. John Miller. I don't no Commodore? no it, it wasn't Pac Man it, I, maybe I don't think it was Pac Man somebody said that they like the show and they'd like to consider being on the show so they they offered their name as a possibility uh, of being their their king of a micronation of some sort so so send them ideas and the only thing that we require is that you're oh. pro squirrel <laughs> and you're funny no I'm just kidding I'm just. You know, funny, you don't have to be funny. funny. I mean, Morty's on the show. You don't have to be funny. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I, I mean, I can just sit here and look pretty. I can do that too. But I, I'm the eye candy of the show. Okay, don't don't take the one job that I have. That's really people should also uh, tell remind Paul that he needs to set up a, a Patreon account. So that we oh, yeah. can I'll get to that someday. I promise. Yeah. Someday. So that we can like help uh, send to all of my guests the gear that they need to to so I can have just one roaming set of gear for like the headset, the mic, the things, right? 
And yeah, you have to have good quality. You don't have to have top line audio, but you have to have decent audio to be on the show because bad audio is a hate crime. That's a fact. Yes, but and, and help I state get its own radio station so you can hear from me weekly. Just visit iStake.tv, become a regular com consumer. If you go to iStake.tv, by the way, you're going to discover uh, content aggregation, news aggregation, as well as original articles and other stuff that uh, that's not mired uh, in field porn. It has uh, awareness, uh, hope, and action. What were you going to say? Yeah, I also write a lot of uh, colorful opinion articles. I enjoy some of them. I do write um, colorful opinion stuff. And I also cover a lot of tech stuff, a lot of science stuff, weird news uh, and philosophy. Weird science. And, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. And also, iState.tv is where I will be also posting a version of this show. So you'll see that there as well. Morty's. Morty's. Yes. Micro Mins. There you go. Morty's Micro Mins. I like it. <laughs> Four minutes note, works. And on that um, note, go ahead. Are we, are we done so I can say toodles? Yep, yep. we can uh, say toodles, Pip. <laughs> toodles, Pip. We'll see you next uh, couple weeks or so. Uh, 